We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? Our first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. Everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner. Strange. No bodies, no structural damage, no signs of battle. reprograms them to attack on site. We're not alone here. any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! Shepard? Is that... you're alive? Cerberus rebuilt me, Tally. In return, they asked me to investigate these attacks on human colonies. You'll pardon us for not taking you at your word, Cerberus. We're well within our rights to investigate attacks on a human colony. I'd like to know what the Quarians are doing here. Weapons down, Praza. Whatever's going on here, I don't think we need another fight. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. Isn't that a little strange? A Quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. 
Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. See you on the far side. Be careful, Shepard. There's a squad of security drones up ahead. Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of them. They've seen us. I did want to get to Vito first. Get your squad into cover and I'll open the loading bay doors. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. Going to cover! Right! going to be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Mechs 
people protect, safe from swarms, have to hide. No monsters, no swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? No, Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming, have to hide. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Have to hide. Have to hide. Mechs will protect. <laughs> Human, where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The, the monsters, the swarms. They took everyone. Why didn't the colonists fight back, Vitor? What happened? You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. I thought the collectors kept it themselves. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you, then the monsters take you away. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away, but they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of them, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. He's traumatized, and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrive, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? 
only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? What are the Collectors getting from these deals? The Collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and merc groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Council and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. about the collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solis. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the collectors paralyzing seeker swarms. Sounds good. What else? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. You saved your life, let me fly, and there's this. They only told me last night. It's good to be home, huh, Commander? I guess we'll have to give her a name.
Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. Without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them. Especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Welcome aboard, Commander. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Joker would like to speak to you on the bridge. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound? Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? I'd better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later.
Ah, welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just... Leave, Fargot. Now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Arya wants to know what brings a dead Spectre to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. I'll keep that in mind. Afterlife, now. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Come on, Warning. let me in. Arya's expecting you. That's close enough. Stand still! If you're looking for weapons, you're not doing a very good job. Can't be too careful with dead specters. That could be anyone wearing your face. I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> I am Omega. But you need more. Everyone needs more something, and they all come to me. I'm the boss, CEO, queen, if you're feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler and only one rule. Don't fuck with Arya. I like it. Easy to remember. If you forget, someone will remind you. And then I toss your sorry ass out the nearest airlock. So, what can I do for you? I'm trying to track down Archangel. You and half of Omega. You want him dead too? Why is everyone after him? He thinks he's fighting on the side of good. There is no good side to Omega. Everything he does pisses someone off. It's catching up to him. Just the kind of guy I'm looking for. Really? Well, aren't you interesting? You're gonna make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble right now. What kind of trouble? The local Merc groups have joined forces to take him down. They've got him cornered, but it sounds like they're having trouble finishing him off. They've started hiring anybody with a gun to help them. Sounds like that might be our ticket in. They're using a private room for recruiting. Just over there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. Which Merc groups are after Archangel? Blue Suns, Eclipse, Blood Pack. They're Omega's major players. Unless they're at war, you'll never see them together. But one thing they hate more than each other is Archangel. Do you hate Archangel? I don't have time for hate. But I distrust them all equally. For now, I'm happy just to let them kill each other. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the Mercs realize you're here to help him. I'm looking for Morton Solis. Do you know where I can find him? The Solarian Doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morton. 
He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. What can you tell me about him? Used to be part of the Salarian Special Tasks group. He's brilliant and dangerous. Just don't get him talking. He never shuts up. If you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. Thanks for the information. Yes. Just try not to bring the plague back with you. I hear you recruiting. Hmm. Why don't you step inside? You'll get paid when the job's done, just like everyone else. Who's next? You three look like you could do some damage. Looking for a good fight? Sure, if this is the place to go after Archangel. This is the place. Standard fee is 500 credits each. You get paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. You'll need your own weapons and armor. Looks like you got that covered. And no, this does not make you a member of the Blue Sun's Eclipse of the Blood Pack. You are a freelancer, period. Any questions? Where do we go? Just head over to the transport depot outside the club. One of our boys will take you from there. Sign in the next one. Hey, is this where I sign up? You look a little young to be freelancing as a merc. I'm old enough. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. So does Archangel. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol and I want to use it. Get your money back. Hey, what are you... Trust me, kid. You'll thank me later. I'm on the mission. I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. Ready when you are. Get in. It's about time they sent me someone who looks like they can actually fight. They tell you what we're up against? Just tell us where to go. Archangel's holed up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground. But he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. You guys have a plan? A small team is waiting to infiltrate his hideout, but we need to draw Archangel's fire so they can move in. And that's where we come in? Exactly. You'll be on a distraction team. Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy so the infiltration team can sneak in behind him. Sounds like a suicide mission to me. Pretty much, but you look like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard and get to the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant Kathka. He'll tell you when to go in. I better go find Sergeant Kathka. Good idea. Watch yourself on the boulevard. Archangel's killed dozens out there already. Well, we might have a way in, but getting out could be interesting. Let's find him first. 
Then we'll figure out how to get back. Shepard, I've scanned the area, but I am unable to plot any other paths to Archangel. Guess we're going with the Mercs. The heavy mechs and gunship possess considerable firepower. Weakening them before leaving will improve your chances. As the first wave goes in, the infiltration team will attempt to take Archangel by surprise. That should slow them down. Perfect. It'll be hostile if they activate it. Gathka. Sergeant Kafka. Uh, you must be the group Salky mentioned. You're just in time. Were you waiting for us? The infiltration team is about to give us a signal. Archangel won't know what hit him. Got any questions? This may be your last chance. So our plan is to jump the wall and head for Archangel's building? And try not to get killed too fast. You're only a distraction, as long as you're alive. You don't have to make it all the way across. Just keep Archangel watching that bridge. The infiltration team will do the rest. Are you gonna give us cover with the gunship? Huh. Tarek is the only one who flies her. Besides, she's not quite ready. That bastard Archangel gave her a beating last time she was out there. But a few more tweaks, she'll be as good as new. Why are you coordinating the attack and fixing gunships? I'm in the infiltration group. Our team coordinates with the gunship. I'm staying back to organize the freelancers and make sure the gunship's ready to go if we need her. Are you leading the assault? Ha! <laughs> Tarek doesn't pay me to fight. I just plan the attacks and fix the damn gunship. You freelancers get the privilege of... Check! Bravo team! Go, go, go! Archangel's got quite a surprise waiting for him. But that means no more waiting for me. Gotta get her back to 100% before Tarek decides he needs her again. You're working too hard. Don't 
Doesn't look like Archangel's got much time. Well, let's not wait around too long. Come on, we'll give these guys a surprise of our own. You're up! Kill them! Uh. Ah. Oh. Uh. He's with Archangel! Uh. Oh. Archangel? doing here just keeping my skill sharp a little target practice you okay been better but it sure is good to see a friendly face killing marks is hard work especially on my own what are you doing out here on Omega I got fed up with all the bureaucratic crap on the Citadel figured I could do more good on my own at least it's not hard to find criminals here all I have to do is point my gun and shoot since when did you start calling yourself Archangel? It's just a name the locals gave me for all my good deeds. <laughs> I don't mind it, but please, it's uh, <clears throat> just Garrus to you. Well, we got here, but I don't think getting out will be as easy. No, it won't. That bridge has saved my life, funneling all those witless idiots into scope. But it works both ways. They'll slaughter us if we try to get out that way. So we just sit here and wait for them to take us out? It's not all that bad. This place has held them off so far. And, with three of you, I suggest we hold this location, wait for a crack in their defenses, take our chances. It's not a perfect plan, but it's a plan. How'd you let yourself get into this position? My feelings got in the way of my better judgment. It's a long story. I'll make you a deal. You get me out of here alive and I'll tell you the whole damn thing. If we fight as a team, we'll hold them off. You're right. Their numbers won't help them in here anyway. Let's see what they're up to. Hmm. Looks like they know their infiltration team failed. Take a look. Scouts. Eclipse, I think. More than scouts. One less now, though. Indeed. We better get ready. I'll stay up here. I can do a lot of damage from this vantage point. You... You can do what you do best. Just like old times, Shepard. Let's give these bastards everything we've got.
Smirks have made it into the base. Right, let's see how you handle this, Archangel. Go! Online. Sending out the heavy max. That problem should take care of itself. Marks have made it into the base. Kicking ass, Shepard. They barely touched me. And we got Jareth in the process. I've been hunting that little bastard for months. Why were you after him? He's been shipping tainted Izo all over Citadel space. Half the goods I seized back at CSEC came from his team here on Omega. I took out a big shipment a while back and killed his top lieutenant in the process. I'm not surprised he decided to work with the other mercs after that. We've still got Blood Pack and Blue Suns left. Think we can make a break for it? Maybe. Let's see what they're up to. They've reinforced the other side, heavily, but they're not coming over the bridge yet. What are they waiting for? What the hell was that? Damn it. They breached the lower level. 
Well, they had to use their brains eventually. You'd better get down there, Shepard. I'll keep the bridge clear. Let's split up two and two. Keep one of my team here. You sure? Who knows what you'll find down there? Jacob, stay with Garrus. Keep him alive. If you say so. I'm not sure it's a good idea. Thanks, Shepard. You better get going. We're on our way. Go down a level. The basement door is on the west side of the main room behind the stairs. I'll radio directions if you need help, but you've got to get down there quick. Good luck.
Back here, Shepard. They're coming in through the door. Ah, rip them to shreds! Watch my back. I'll deal with Archangel. We've been spotted. Got it! Thanks, Shepard. They hardly got through to me. And we took out Garm and his blood pack. This day just gets better and better. He was one tough son of a bitch. You fought with him before? Yeah, we tangled once. Caught him alone, none of his gang, to help him. We still couldn't take him out. I've never seen a Krogan regen that fast. He's a freak of nature. He just kept at it until his Vorcha showed up. It was close, but I had to let him go. Not this time. Only the Blue Suns are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. Tarek's got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head on it. Heads up! Damn it! I thought I took that thing out already. They fixed it, but not completely. I made sure of that. They're off 
reloading troops. Watch your back. Just throw my shield. Getting you out of here, Garrus. Just hold on. Radio Joker, make sure they're ready for us. We better hurry. He looks bad.
Commander, we've done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The doc's corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Shepard? <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there, and no one will even notice. <laughs> oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Ah, uh, probably for the best. Everyone was always ignoring you and hitting on me. Time for you to get a fair shot at it. Frankly, I'm more worried about you. I've heard bad things about Cerberus these past few years. That's why I'm glad you're here, Garrus. If I'm walking into hell, I want someone I trust at my side. You realize this plan has me walking into hell, too. Hmm. Just like old times. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal.
warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also run searches for reports on Archangel. The various mercenary groups appear to believe that he is dead. Works for me.